invisible makeup is when you go from this to this. You see, there isn't much makeup, but your eyes look so much more glam. Hi everyone, it's Mitha. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you a hot trend that's up on the red carpet every single time. We see it, we love it. It's the invisible makeup. Basically, the makeup is undetectable, but you look supremely glam. And I know a super duper trick. You'll be amazed how simple it is to achieve this. So without further delay, let's begin. I'm starting with a transparent brow gel. This is from Kosas. It's called Air Brow. All I'm going to do is brush my brow hair upwards with the spoolie. This gives that casually feathered out, effortlessly pretty look. It's a transparent gel, so it's not going to add any extra color or make your brows look harsh. And then using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit, this is a micro tip brow pencil. I'm using the shade 4. I'm going to fill in a few sparse areas in my lower part of the brow. I'm going to be using this gorgeous PYT Beauty Day to Night palette. I'm going to use a metallic shade that's a close match to my skin tone. This is very important. You can use whatever you have, but let it be very close to your skin tone. First, it's important to prime your lids and I'm going to be using a concealer. This is the Milani concealer in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin tone. I'm going to apply just a tad bit and spread it out with my finger. And while the concealer is still tacky, I'm picking up that metallic shade and lightly dabbing it over the concealer. Metallic and shimmer shades stick better and show more pigment on your lids when you have something tacky underneath. And then I'm going to be using a dry sponge, pressing it lightly on my lids to remove some of that excess eyeshadow. And that'll give a nice glaze to your lids without looking like too much. Next, I'm going to lightly build a crease where my socket is. So I'm going to touch and feel my socket. I'm using the E28 Shading and Blending Brush by Rosenbun Beauty. I like the way it is flat on top, although it's a blending brush. I'm going to dip it into this brown eyeshadow. This is a matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm taking very little. I'm going to point the brush upwards and start stamping it where my socket is. That'll help to define the lids, but at the same time, it's so light that you won't even notice it. But at the same time, it adds so much structure. And then I'm going to use that brown eyeshadow in my lower lash line, smoking it out with a small blending brush. Using the subtle highlighter shade, I'm going to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. To brighten up my eyes, I'm going to be using a metallic eye pencil in my lower waterline. This is Hypnotic Gold by Ramel. And then I'm going to tightline the upper waterline using the Aqua Resist Pencil by Makeup Forever. I love this pencil that it doesn't transfer my upper waterline to my lower waterline. Tightlining is not as prominent as an eyeliner because we are going for that invisible makeup look, but at the same time, it makes a huge difference. The lash line looks so much more thicker. Time to finish up. I'm going to first curl my lashes. I'm using the Sally Hansen Curler. And here's the trick with mascara. I'm going with a transparent one. This is the Physician's Formula Diamond Wear Mascara. Lovely thing about a transparent mascara is, again, it's undetectable. It almost looks invisible. It looks like your lashes, but just a better version. And just so you know, you can also use this mascara on your brows. You don't need a separate brow gel. You can just use a transparent mascara instead. And then I'm using a dry spoolie to remove some of that excess from my lower lash line to make it look more natural. Let's look at the before one more time. And here is the after. Do you see how stunning that looks? But it is so subtle at the same time. I absolutely love this kind of makeup, especially for special events. This is what I'm going for. It's stylish, it's sexy, it's nude. It just enhances your natural features. And I feel like that's how makeup should be. Let's finish the rest of the face. I'm using a very light blush by Benefit. This is their new one called Shelly. I'm using just a tad bit right up on my cheekbones, moving upward so I get that lifted effect. Also using a little bit on my nose. You can also use it on your chin, your forehead. It gives a nice flush of color without looking harsh. 
And then I'm using some highlighter in areas where the sun naturally hits my face, basically on the high planes of my face. And I'm using a fairly large blending brush by Wet n Wild. This is not going to add too much product to my face, but at the same time, it will give you that nice sheer sheen. And that's what I'm going for. For the natural flush, I'm going to be using a lip balm instead of a lipstick. This is the Pixi Rose Lip Nourisher. It's very pigmented. So I'm using just a tad bit to outline my lips as well as fill in just a tad bit. That's going to add just the right amount of color. It's going to look like your lips, but just an enhanced version. And then I'm going to add a nude lip gloss over it. This is a new one from Wet n Wild. It's called Love Language. Again, that adds a beautiful sheen without looking like too much. How stunning did this look turn out? And of course, it is so versatile. If you feel like you want to pair this with a deeper lip, you can do that. If you want to add a little bit of black eyeshadow in the outer corner and make it more of a dramatic evening look, you can do that as well. But I love it just the way it is. And I hope you do as well. Let me know in comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to watch more videos like these. And do check out the description box for all the products that I use today. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.